You are not a man. You can pretend to be a man, and that's okay. That's perfectly fine. Live your life and <laughs> tell me what a man is. Well, what's a man to you? You define a man for me. You have chromosomes that are X and Y. That's what a man is. So why are we just looking at the the the, the science of this as an the example? Science. When when we've learned sex and gender sex. identity are two very they're completely different things. They're not completely different. They are things. completely different. Completely different words. And sex <laughs> is what you're born with, the sexual reproductive organs you have. Gender is what you identify with. They're completely different Well, I don't accept things. that distinction. You have to argue for it. You're just giving a conclusion. You're, you're just making it up. I'm not angry at people who reject the truth of, for example, the reality that there are two genders. I feel compassion for them. I feel sorry for them because gender dysphoria is a mental health disorder. These people need help. And I don't think we're doing them any favors by elevating them into societal heroes by celebrating their confusion. That is not compassion. That is cruelty. It is just a hard fact. There is a biological definition of what it means to be a man. You have an X and a Y chromosome. There's a biological definition of what it means to be a woman. You have two X chromosomes and certain sex organs and the ability to bear children. These are hard truths. We should not apologize for them. But the way we express compassion for the people who are suffering from confusion and being able to understand that isn't by giving them endorsement deals and turning them into social media stars. It's by actually helping them, especially when they're kids who are going through that confusion, by not throwing kerosene on the wildfire of confusion, but instead respectfully restoring truth itself. And you know what? You can be a woman in any way you want to be a woman. You can wear what you want, when you want, jeans, skirts, doesn't matter. You can be a man in whatever way you want to be a man attracted to who you want, marry what gender you want. That's the country we live in today. But to say that the rest of society has to change their definitions of, a lang of, of language, of what words mean in a language, have to stand by as we indoctrinate the next generation of our kids with certain sets of ideals, that's not freedom, that's oppression. And I think that if freedom means something, it means you as an adult are free to live your life how you want to live your life. Trans or not, that's what freedom means. But you know what isn't free is now saying that we have to force that onto a new generation of vulnerable Americans and that the rest of us have to change the language or how we live our lives. That's not freedom, that's the real oppression. And that's another hard truth that I'm just willing to speak out loud.